Wow, these things really pumped me up. This episode is sponsored by Raycon. It is co-founded by Ray J and they provide innovative earbud designs at prices that do not break the bank. Raycon offers their wireless earbud in a range of fun colors and patterns. They're super comfortable and come in a wide variety of fit options. As you've seen, I like wearing my Raycons in the gym and this is the year of the gains and wearing my Raycons makes me lift heavier and go harder. Their everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever with optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. These earbuds are so comfortable and they never budge. They offer eight hours of playtime, 32 hour battery life, and have over 48,000 five-star reviews. Raycons started about half the price of other premium audio brands, but they sound just as good. Oh, thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this episode. Click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash off the ranch to get 15% off your order. Time to leave. If you boys are ever in Vegas, go hit up Circa. The place is sick, the people are great, but we have to leave. It is so foggy out here. Can't see like 15 feet ahead of us. Like I have no idea what, what we're going on right now. Hey! Oh wait, yeah, that's right. That one's a black diamond. Let's go on this one. Hey, Mayor. Hey. This is how you ski off a cliff. Yeah. Or lose a kid. Or lose a kid or accidentally just go down a double black diamond. Because you can't see any signs. Lincoln's up there. I can still kind of see a shadow. Golly, it's so thick. We oh! <laughs> nice work, nice work. Y'all crazy. How's the butt sliding going? How's the butt sliding going? And he's just coming down. Looking good. Addy wants to take a break. I'm gonna try this butt slide. That didn't work at all. How do you do this? <laughs> Sorry. That's a grumpy mare. Oh, hey. Hey, mare. Not grumpy. Are you grumpy? No. We're having to eat outside. In the snow. In the snow and sleet. And all those tables on the inside, they're just, there's no indoor dining right now. There's hundreds of tables in there, all closed. I think that's a little dramatic. Okay, there's 70 tables in there. No. Sleet's going on our pizza. That's true. I have chili. I got chili. How's your chili? The pizza was good. Lunch was good, even though we had to sit out in the cold to eat it. Hey, Mayor. What? This guy walks up to me after lunch, and he says, hey, my son is convinced that you blank. Fill in the blank. What do you think he said after that? Or Demolition Ranch. That's what I thought he was going to say, but he said, you're Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> 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 and I was like, yep. That's me. <laughs> I've never got that one before. <laughs> so anyway, uh, welcome to Mark Wahlberg's YouTube channel. Thank you guys uh, for just liking and subscribing. <laughs> Looking good, kid. All right, get some speed. It's gonna get flat. That's not speed. Ah, crazy crash. We're in uh, Park City, Utah. Uh, first time we've ever skied here before. Probably will be the last time because uh, the food situation's always been crazy like that. We've been to different places, and indoor dining is mostly closed. Um, and the one that there was one that had indoor, indoor dining, and it was insane. The line was crazy. You had to wait forever to get food. So there's just like so many people here. I don't know why. I mean, it's like the most packed I've ever seen it. And actually, today it's better. Um, it's not as crazy today as it has been, but I don't know. We just we just don't get that feeling here like we get at some other places. We just like trying different places for skiing and seeing which one you know we like the most this one's not up there it's it's actually scoring pretty low on the character ski trip scale which is the yes which is the most coveted scale uh, of all ski mountains all right we found link again let's go
Yeah. Uh, I got your <laughs> Bye. See you. Oh, thanks. Annie told me to climb up here. She said it was cool, but it looks like there's not a whole lot of boarding going on over there. It looks like there's a lot of crawling. All right, y'all going? Nice work. Oh, crazy. Yeah! Fifth day snowboarding, and they got the hang of it. They can go goofy, or they can go regular but they can only do heel edge. They can't do toe edge, and I don't know how to teach them. They're too, they're too scared to try, but see, he can flip around and go left foot forward. He prefers left foot forward. She prefers right foot forward, but neither one of them will cut and go on a toe edge like that. And I told them that's really what they need to do. It'll make it way easier if they can do left foot forward or right foot forward and go heel and toe. It'll make it so much easier to get around on these mountains. Annie, do a 180. Yeah. Come on. There you go. She got that 180 down. Now do a toe edge. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can do a toe edge. What are you doing toe? You gonna do toe? That was a good heel. Good heel 180. So, if anyone has taught young kids how to snowboard, I don't remember how I learned heel and toe, but I also, I was a wakeboarder before I was a snowboarder. So I don't know, if anyone has done that and knows how to kind of teach them how to make them like ease into it, because right now they're so comfortable with the heel and not at all with the toe that they never want to go on their toe edge because they feel out of control when they're trying to use the toe. So let me know how we should ease into it. Probably just a big flat run like this and lots of slow, slow towing but they're really getting the hang of it on their fifth day ever of snowboarding Annie just told me every time I've been on this part I face planted I hope it don't face plant again I hope you don't also Annie good luck Link just got him a toe edge face plant you didn't fall I did not fall not yet I didn't face plant oh you fell you pushed me uh-uh yes, you did. no you just fell <laughs> good job girl That's pretty good reason to celebrate. Annie and I switched boards. Go for it, Annie. Oh yeah, don't hurt anybody. Okay, here we go. Oh, dude. This is, this is great. It's sick. Ah, good job, Annie. Why are you riding on Annie's snowboard? That's my snowboard. Here comes the waves. Get up on the surfboard. She didn't get up, she missed the wave. I wish I could just ski like this with my overalls and my Cummins t-shirt. That would have been nice yesterday. <sighs> yeah, it was warm yesterday. So we've, we've skied for a couple days. We just had a short little trip, um, but we're trying to find the coolest place to ski uh, in the US. I already found it. Mayor thinks she found it in Big Sky, Montana. Yes, But I'll go back over and over again. I, I want some ideas. I'm never gonna come back here, probably. Park City was not my favorite. It just wasn't anything special. It was pretty. I, and it was expensive. I liked the mountain. The runs were good. Runs were good. The snow was good. Even despite like this year, I don't think anywhere has gotten good snow. And it was still good. It was insanely crowded. So crowded. Yeah, especially yesterday and really especially the day before that. It was insane. Like scary when you have little kids and you're trying to keep yeah. them safe and people are just flying by every second. I didn't feel like it the, was as. The lift lines took forever. Yes. I didn't feel like it was as kid friendly as Big Sky. Yeah. Um, and then there were just like a bunch of the restaurants were either closed completely or closed to indoor dining. Yep. And then it, that made the mountain was insanely crowded. So since restaurants were closed, that made the ones that were open even more crowded. Insane. And everybody's mad because there was huge lines yeah. every like the lifts were crazy, the restaurants were crazy, and like everyone's just grumpy at lunchtime and lift time and. It just seems like if you can't staff the amenities on the mountains, 
then you should be limiting Don't sell lift tickets so many lift tickets. Yeah. So that you can still accommodate the people. We're just, we're just griping. Yeah. <laughs> we overall had a good time. We're just not coming back here. <laughs> so No, it was fun. So I'm looking, I'm looking for your suggestions on where should we go. Actually, I want to try some Colorado places. Um, what were you saying? I really want to go to Telluride. We've never been to Telluride. And then that's next year. We got some time to like plan it out. But for next year's ski season... I also want to go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Yeah, we've never been to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. We hear it's nice. I feel like that's one you might fall in love with. Also, I want big pine trees. Out here, there's some pine trees, but there, there's not many. It's mostly aspens, which in the winter don't look as cool. Pine trees look awesome. I'm really nitpicking here, but hit me up. Comments below. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to go back home and continue this video there. So I'll see you in Texas. Back in Texas now, and we have a big shop update. Some stuff happened while we were gone. Check this out. The biggest thing, well, you guys might not even seen that. It, it, it's been painted black in the background of a couple episodes, but we got the whole interior wall painted black, which looks sick. All it is is just plywood, but it's, it's all black now, which makes it look a lot better. And then I'm eventually gonna cover it with some other stuff. We'll see that later. But then you'll also notice we've got this nice railing. It looks very similar to the railing at the bunker, bunker branding, uh, because it was made by the same dude, Brandon, did all this work. I wanted, I mean, we could have done some wood stairs. This is just going up to a storage area up there, which I'll show you in just a minute. And I was just gonna do wood stairs because that's the most affordable. But then I was like, man, these metal stairs are gonna look way cooler. So he's got a big C channel beam right here on both sides. And then he has hooked it up to our little platform up there. And then he made this rail out of square tubing. We got some big tubing here and smaller ones on the middle. And then he got these prefab diamond plate runners here. And they're pretty cool. All metal, all steel. And let's go up. Come on, let me show you my crib. So this is actually a platform which is extra sturdy and the um, beams run way back in here. So they're, you know, it, it kind of is hanging, it's floating. But we want it to be strong so we can forklift stuff on the top of it. So we have a gate which is going to receive a better latch that hooks down here. But this gate is here so we can get my bobcat or a forklift and set big heavy things up here in this area for storage because this is kind of the attic space above all the stuff we have down there and so you can see all the ac ducts and everything and this is going to be a non-finished out space it's actually going to look just like this but with some lights we haven't put those in yet but we got i don't know if you can see it's pretty dark we got all over there a um, bunch of room we're gonna have shelves all the stuff that i don't need all the time like We've got some extra transmissions, a bunch of extra parts, a bunch of extra lumber, stuff like that that we don't want to be tripping over. We can set it up here until we need it. So I'm pretty pumped about this whole space right here. I haven't really showed you guys the office downstairs either. I'll show that too. It's so hard to see in the dark, but let me show you. We've got plumbing here for a little shop sink, which would be nice. Get all your grubby hands clean. We got bathroom here. We actually have two bathrooms. We have another bathroom on the other side of this wall. My thought for that was like, One's for like when we're gross and we're like out there getting all nasty with cars. And the other, we're gonna have some office people here. Some people work with Bunker. Just another space people can work. So other is for clean people. We're gonna have the dirty bathroom here and the clean bathroom here. You guys would always be in the dirty bathroom. I know how you are. Come through the wall, it's fun. Oh, you don't fit. It's... Nailed it. This is going to be like a conference room slash break room. We have some companies come out here sometimes and. I was like, man, it'd be really cool to have a place to like sit down with them besides like sitting on the range. So we have, we're gonna have a big table in here. There's gonna be some like fridge and sink and stuff along this wall, just that kind of stuff. In here is our actual like office area. Come on through guys, I got you. So we'll have room for desk, workspaces, those kind of things. Whiteboards where I can do all the planning. Like, you know, Monday, buy gun. Tuesday, buy two guns, you know. That kind of thing. And then over here, we've got a office back in the corner over there. You'll see whose that is later. We've got some closet space. We really wanted a place to like have all the camera stuff charging. Because anyone who has cameras knows that like batteries and all that stuff is a huge mess. So we want to have a place where it's all super organized. Where we got the drone, the cameras, the GoPro, and everything's just ready and like neat behind a door. That'd be cool. And over here, uh, we've actually been working on El Dorado quite a bit. Um, problem is, needs to be ready for Cletus and Cars in like 10 days. 
Mm, gotta go. Thanks for watching the Off the Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>